give us a kind of overview of what is the goal idea behind this group? We kind of saw this need in the community because we have Linux distribution maintainers who are focused on IBM Z and Linux One, but they were the only one in their distribution, or there was only one or two of them in their distribution who were supporting the platform and fixing the bugs in the platform whenever they came up in the build systems. And that turned out to be somewhat isolating, and it was a lot of work. Um, so there was some sort of side channel collaboration between the distribution. So someone from Fedora may know someone from OpenSUSE or ask someone at Red Hat and they would just sort of informally ask questions. Um, and there was always contacts at IBM, but we didn't have a way for us to more um, officially sort of collaborate between all of the distributions that were out there supporting the platform. So a couple of years ago, we formed the working group in order to have that structured engagement. So we have a mailing list, we have monthly meetings, um, and a, a wiki where we sort of collect our notes and, and make sure that we're all aligned on on what our resources are for the platform. So what is Linux doing on I you know Z systems? <laughs> they so, have their own OS. Yeah, so the, the surprising thing about Linux on the mainframe is that we've been doing it for about 25 years. So the first patches for the Linux kernel sort of came around around 1998-ish. Um, IBM published them and got them upstreamed into the Linux kernel at the end of 1999. So we're looking at a pretty big legacy of the, the support on the platform. Um, but I'd say with the release of the Linux One system back in, I think, 2016, um, which is a Linux-only mainframe, that really was like the step that IBM took in the direction of like, we are very much committed to this platform. In fact, we create a whole system that is only Linux. Um, and then on the platform, I mean, the Linux workloads, it's, it's sort of aligned with, with our modernization strategies. So a lot of companies are really interested in making sure that they can use microservices and make sure that their Linux workloads are close to their mainframe, traditional mainframe workloads. Um, and that's pretty much what, what they end up doing with them. Um, we do sell the Linux ones alone as well. So there are companies that just use Linux one in their infrastructure, and then they're just fully devoted to Linux. So. But what are the special use cases for Linux? It's generally around um, data. So companies that are processing a lot of data um, or storing a lot of data, um, it's really the, the big caches in the CPU are designed to, to do that most effectively. So you see companies that are, uh, I mean, some of the, the big use cases recently are like doing like fraud detection. So they're processing a lot of um, transactions through their systems and that needs to be done quickly um, and accurately. And that's where they bring in Z and, and the Linux side of things as well.